place it to the moon to that one here and I'm going <coughs> I'm going to read the next page or two and a half and then see you so buttons no Rachel Rachel yelled and she and Kirsty ran after him to get the ribbon back. When the girls had finished hanging the Christmas cards, it was time for a delicious lunch with hot soup. Then Rachel took Kirsty out to the garage to fetch the decorations. It's getting colder, Kirsty said, shivering. Maybe it will snow. I hope so, Rachel replied. She switched the garage light on. The decorations are up there. She p pointed at a shelf above the workbench. I'll stand on the stepladder and hand the boxes down to you. Okay, okay, Kirsty agreed. By the way, the video yesterday that was called Christmas decorations was decorating in the tree or something like that. Because I'm reading a book and I don't really make I pick specific lines from the book, from the chapter I've, from the, from the page I've read, and then I use that, that, those certain words, and then I'll use it, I'll call, that'll be my, the, the name of the video. So it's not actually, I'm not actually decorating a Christmas tree, it's just the name of this, um, it's just words, specific words, words from this chapter or different chapters that I read that I read and then I'll use the specific words and then I'll use them for my YouTube channel. No, not YouTube channel. My YouTube video name. Anyway. Rachel climbed up the ladder and began to lift the boxes down. They were full of silver stars, shiny tinsel and glittering baubles in pink. Purple and pink, purple and silver. I hope you've got a fairy for the top of the tree, Kirsty joked, as Rachel handed her box. No, we don't, Rachel laughed. We've always had a silver star, but it's getting quite old and tatty now. Be careful, Kirsty. She went on lifting another box from the shelf. This one's got all sorts of things sticking out of it. Oh, Rachel gasped with surprise. The gold locket around her neck and had caught on a little sparkling wretch made of rigs. The locket burst open, scattering fairy dust all over both girls. Oh no, Rachel cried, scumbling down from the ladder. What shall we do? Kirsty began. Kirsty began. But they didn't have time to do anything. Suddenly, both girls were caught up in a swirling cloud of fairy dust that swept them off their feet. The sparkles whirled around them, glittering in the pale winter light. Kirsty, we're shrinking, Rachel cried. I think we're on our way to fairyland. I'm going to read this page and then the other page. The girls, this is called, this one is called Christmas to Chaos, I'm on a different one now. The girls weren't scared because this had happened to them before, but as they whirled around the cloud towards Fairyland, Rachel felt a bit embarrassed. She hadn't meant to use her magic fairy dust at all. It was an accident. Don't worry, called, Kir called Kirsty, seeing the seeing the look on Rachel's face. It'll be it'll be lovely to see our fairy friends again. Soon the girls spotted the red and white to to toadstool houses of Fairyland below them, and then the silver palace with its four pink turrets. As the girls drifted closer to the p p palace, they could see a crowd of fairies waving at them. There was King Oberon and Queen Titiana. 
with the rainbow fairies and the weather fairies too. Right, so that is going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and some subscribe. I know I don't get that, don't have to get comments, but I will. Anyway, guys, I will see you tomorrow, and tomorrow is going to be facts. But you won't know about the creature or animal until I say in the video. Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.